and get people to uh, stand up and do a brainstorm on something. Um, I've had, um, you may know the, uh, the strategy of questcussion. Have you heard about that? Where an entire discussion happens only through the use of questions. Where students, um, there's a topic and usually it's a topic that has some kind of edge on it. And the students are uh, given the task of only asking questions about this topic. Uh, the last question I used um, was around the use of a particular um, assessment device within healthcare. And I was interested in, and there's debate about whether or not it's a use, useful device. And so I told the audience that we were going to debate this, not in a usual way, but we were going to discuss it and debate it only through their questions. And initially there was just silence. And then all of a sudden, one student said, why should I bother to waste my time using this instrument? And another student countered with, what would happen if we didn't use our time using this instrument? And then there was a third question. And the rules are, of course, that you can't ask multiple questions all by the same person. Um, and that you, nobody can answer the questions. And what happens in that kind of a, a question is that the level of questioning becomes increasingly sophisticated. And there's an enormous amount of content that gets lit, delivered through the questions. And as a teacher, I can also assess their understanding through the level of questions they ask. And it's a great um, crowd pleaser. People who don't say anything say they learn a lot from that.